The month of Nisan, I mean, there's so much to say about this month. <laughs> and there's so much to do. The cleaning for Pesach, it's just incredible. But the month of Nisan is also referred to in Teja as the month of Aviv, which means spring. We have leap years because Pesach has to come out in the spring, and so we adjust the calendar to make sure that it doesn't move away into into another season. But everything in Torah is so meaningful, everything is so perfect, everything is so correct. Like for example, the Rebbe's father writes that the word Aviv, which is spelled Aleph Beis, Yud Beis, describes the month of Nisan, not only because it's the season or the uh, spring, but because Nisan is the birth of the Jewish people. You might say that we were born in Nisan. When we came out of Egypt, we became a people. We were born as a people. And then the next month, or two months later, when the Torah was given, we became bar mitzvah. <laughs> we got our mitzvah's responsibilities. The month of Nisan is the birth of the Jewish people. And so, what would be the appropriate name for that month? Aviv. Because, who were the children of Israel born to? Of the fathers. Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. But the Rebbe's father says, that's not perfect enough. Av is single. We have three fathers, not one. So why is it Aleph Beis? It should be three. So he says, well, Aleph and Beis are three. Numerically, Aleph and Beis are three. So it means father, and it also has the numerical value of three. So it's three fathers. But then, why is the three represented by an Aleph and a Beis, not three Alephs or a Gimel? That also has to be perfect, meaningful, purposeful. So, so the Rebbe's father says, it's because of the three fathers, Avraham stood alone. Echad hoy Avraham. When Avraham was a father, he was the only one in the world. And then there was Yitzchak and Yaakov. That's a Beis. So it's appropriate that the three fathers should be represented by a single num digit and then the two. It's still not good enough. The fathers, Avraham, Yitzchak, Yaakov, if you take all their names and write it as one long word, the first letter would be Aleph, the Aleph of Avraham. The last letter would be Beis, the Beis of Yaakov. So Aleph Beis means from Avraham, from the beginning of Avraham all the way through the end of Yaakov. Those are our ancestors. Now the Yud Beis is 12, which represents the tribes. We were born as a people by, by having 12 ancestors, by being divided into 12 tribes. So Aleph Beis means the patriarchs, Yud Beis means the 12 tribes. That's how we were born. That's how we were created and formed into a nation. But the fact that Yud Beis is 12 numerically, that's not good enough. Because 12 can be represented in different ways. So why Yud Beis? Well, because the 12 tribes were all children of Yaakov. The first letter in Yaakov's name is the Yud, and the last letter is the Beis. So all 12 tribes, so all of, all of Yaakov from beginning to end is represented by Yud Beis. Eh, still not good enough. We're talking about all Jewish people, and yet we're dividing them into 12 tribes. Well, each tribe is only the father of its descendants. How is it the father of all the Jewish people? Of the 12 tribes, where was the Beis Hamikdash placed? In whose, 
in whose geographical location. The Beis HaMikdash, which, rep which represents all Jews, was placed partly in the territory belonging to Yehuda and partly in the territory belonging to Binyamin. So Yud Beis means of the twelve tribes, there was Yehuda and Binyamin who united all the people in their Beis HaMikdash, which was on their property. If you add Aleph Beis, Yud Beis, if you add them all together, it's 15. Why 15? Because in the month of Aviv, the most significant day is the 15th, the day we came out of Mitzrayim. So the month of Nisan basically means ancestors, the beginnings of a people. You know, the Rebbe's famous statement that uh, no Jew is without a background because you're a descendant of Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. That's your identity, that's your background. So we might say that the month of Nisan is really the month in which our identity was born. We became who we are in the month of Nisan. We have a Sunday night program for VIPs that you might be interested in. It's informal, it's questions and answers, it's conversation. It's really relaxed, it's really pleasant, enjoyable, informative, and uh, kind of community-like. It's a Sunday night program, there's a um, Wednesday morning program for the VIPs, and there's a Wednesday night program. All of it just conversation, casual, laid back, unscripted. So join us, take a look, click uh, the link below and see which, which of the three suits you best and join us for some enjoyable conversation.